There is a small class of students who live in a rural town called Ruxbrow. For 13 years, these students have been trying to get to school on time. Looks like Josh and Shani are absent. Slipped in, perhaps. What do you reckon? Do you reckon Josh has crashed again? Oh, I'll put a tenner on it, he has. Uh, why are you guys white? Unacceptable. They are preparing to leave the nest and enter the big bad world. However, there has been a few challenges along the way. Roxburgh has uh, been underwater. Of course. At the Roxburgh Area School, students and parents were scraping away a layer of mud which covers the grounds and offices and many classrooms. The principal, Gary Pascoe, says there's silt everywhere. Oh, there was plenty of it. It was up to, it was well over knee deep in some parts of the school when I walked around in my gumboots um, this morning, so there was a significant amount. Simple message for New Zealanders today as we head into the next four weeks. Stay at home. We will move to level four. We'll move to alert level four. Keep all of New Zealand at level four. This is, this is not, not a decision, a decision taken, taken lightly. lightly. The passionate staff have encouraged the students to be resilient. When challenges arise, never give up. What do the students have to say before they depart? Can I please have your name? Makaya. Katie. I'm Steele. Shani. My name is Shannon Andrews. I can kiddo. I was Ross Reader. Molly Kirkpatrick. Maya Richards. Kira Marsh. Sarah Gunn. Jessie Mee Waves. What's your most precious moment at school? Uh, probably at school is just playing basketball for my mum. She's been my number one supporter since day one and just always playing in front of her. It's just been special to me. Probably just growing up with all my friends from Educare right through to Year 13. Um, just the fact that I was welcomed here in Year 7 because I came here a little later but I managed to merge in quite nicely. I was young Year 8 and I was trying to climb out one of the bathroom windows and I got caught by my shorts and I was hanging there and Mrs Fraser found me. Uh, probably winning 10 bucks from this golden, even though it hasn't happened yet, but we hope. It was a year 13 ski trip. Ski trip with the class. Plans for the future. Um, to become a mechanic and turn into a grease monkey. Uh, next year I'm going to Otago Polytechnic Museum to study a three-year Bachelor of Applied Science course. So next year is a gap year, so I'm going to be working at CIJs and other, thing, other odd jobs around town. And hopefully if all goes well, I'm going to become a vet nurse. Study a Bachelor of Nursing at the Polytech. To do a Bachelor of Science major in Sport and Exercise. I'm going to Wanaka to do an outdoor adventure course and hopefully become an instructor. Doing Level 4 concrete and then after that probably just get a shipping job somewhere. Next year I'm going to Dunedin to do a pre-trade construction level 3 course
Uh, I'll be taking a bachelor's degree in culinary arts for three years. I'm off to Wanaka next year to study outdoor adventure education and then go into the tourism side. What is your best advice for the students in the coming years? Um, probably staying in school. Live a mahi and get the treats. Stick around Mark Sincock because he is a legend around here and if you're on his good books you'll have a good time. Best advice is to be genuine and kind and sharp every day as your true self. Uh, make more bets with teachers, make money. We take all the opportunities provided because, you know, there's so much out there, so put your name down for anything and everything. These remarkable individuals are prepared for life as they take flight and leave the small rural town of Roxburgh. Turn on the MTV. That ain't working. That